right, hey Pilates besties. I am back today. My name is Raven. I am a professional dancer and Pilates master teacher trainer here in Dallas, Texas. And today we are gonna be working on some just beginner Pilates core with an emphasis on arms. Grab your mind, grab your body, grab your mat. And here we go, let's work out y'all. So here we go, let's get started on all fours. Quadruped, knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Let's just do a little cat cow to warm up your spine. Pull your belly in and then chest up. Stick your hips back, do that one more time. And then hips back, chest up. Alrighty, give me a nice flat spine. Tuck your toes under, abs in, let's hover the knees, lift and then tap the knees back down. Let's go again. Little lift and lower. I want you to think about using your stomach to lift your knees here, to push down with your arms, to roll your shoulders away from your ears, pull the abs in tight. We've got four more. Push down, let's go four. Abs in and up. Three. How are you breathing? Push down through the arms, pull belly up. Last one here, we hold our hover, hold it. Now without moving hands or feet, lift your hips, look at your toes, push your heels down, and then bring it back to lower. One more time, it's like a little downward dog. In Pilates, we call it a V stretch, heels down, or elephant if you're on the reformer. See how I'm trying to lift my toes, push my heels, stretch through these arms? <sighs> lower. Okay, let's add on, here we go. Hips up, this time don't put your knees down. Hover, go again. I'm breathing. And lower, use your belly, stretch your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, whoo. Four more, four, and down. Right back up, three. You should be getting a big full body stretch. Two more, two. One more here, lift, hold this. Now I'm gonna pick up my left hand carefully and reach it towards my right ankle. Big stretch up. Place the hand down, try the other side. Opposite hand to ankle, big rotation of the spine. Center, one more set each way. Big twist from your ribs, look under your armpit. It's kinda fun. <laughs> And down, last one. Arms and upper back should definitely be on fire. Pull your rib cage around. Back through the center and lower your knees, ta-da. Okay, spin your legs around. We're gonna lie all the way down on our back for dead bugs. This is a great place if you wanna add some weight, go for it. Arms are lifted, shoulders are plugged, knees right over your hips. 90 degree line. Here we go, my right arm goes back, left arm stays, pull it up, try the other side, nothing moves. Now right arm back, left leg out, this is it, bring it in. Keep alternating here. How can you keep your back connected to the mat? Pull, and the backs of your shoulders. And your front rib cage, pulling into your back rib cage, keep it going. Stretch and bend. We're really using your entire body here. And pull, keep pulling your abs in. And breathing, of course. <laughs> and reach and pull. Four more. Four. Three. Almost done. Two. One more. Now bring everything back to the center, palms face in, we open, close your arms without any wiggles here. Open, close, pull the abs in, work these arms with resistance, one more. Now when you open your arms, stretch both legs and squeeze it in, go again. Out, 
pull my legs, stay connected. Now, can we advance? Curl up head, neck, and shoulders. Reach these hands underneath your legs. Now go up, pull, scoop from your belly. It wouldn't be Pilates if we didn't try to work your core uniformly. Reach, pull, stomach working. Does not have to be quick. Out, carve. Three, I don't know, can y'all hear my knee cracking? It's crazy. <laughs> Two more, I'm getting old. One more time. Reach, pull it in, pull your knees and give yourself a little rock right there. Ooh, all right, arms by your sides. Lift these legs up, flex the feet. We lower one leg down a little, pull it up. Seems like another core exercise because it is, but I want you to start to find the backs of your arms, your triceps, without moving your spine, using your stomach. Really pull your ribs together. Shh. Everything here is trying to come in. Now, once you've got that cooking, really push your arms down for me. I wanna see this back line of your triceps working. Shh. Now hold here, can both legs go down? Even smaller, both legs up. One more time there. If you can advance using your arms, lift your hips and then roll down. Use your arms. If you do it right, I promise you'll feel those triceps. Push into the mat like you're high-fiving and melt. Woo. Keep that going. Open your chest, backs of the shoulders. I'm doing my best to just lift my legs over my eyes. No higher, no lower. Over my eyes, nose up, melt. Ooh, I really have to use my abdominals. My legs go back on the diagonal. Lift, Ooh, lower. <laughs> it's kind of fun, three more. If you've got any disc issues, spinal fusions, just lower and lift the legs. Don't even do the lift of the pelvis. Too much flexion. Ooh, one more. Pull it up, push your arms down, hold. Three, two, and melt down. Oh my gosh, my triceps cramping up. Hands behind your legs, rock yourself up. Oh my gosh. Now feet go about hip distance apart. My fingertips point forward and I open my hands a little bit wider than my shoulders. Chest is up, especially if you've got tight shoulders, open your hands and legs wider. Here we go, leading from your pelvis. Push, lift your hips up to the ceiling, open your shoulders. And then roll down. Here we go again. Curl under, abs in, hips up, chest open. Melt. Ooh. Two more there. You get to use a little legs here, a lot of abs, a lot of arms. Control. One more. Curl under, lift and hold it at the top for three, two. Now I lower my hips until they're just dangling, hanging. Alrighty, tricep dips, bend. Stretch, push. Notice how my hips are down. I'm gonna move my hands a little bit closer. I don't want you using your legs here. It's all in the upper arms. Now let's pick up our tempo for 10. Make it as small as you need. Eight, seven, belly button to spine. Five, four, backs of arms and shoulders are working. Three. Two, last one. Now can you shift your hips back to your hands a little? Make these even smaller, go again. 10, it should be way harder. Nine, eight, six. Breathing. Woo, two, one, hold it. Now last time, shift your booty back towards your hands more, go. 
seven, use those arms. Five, ooh, baby, four. Oh my gosh, my arms are on fire. Three, two, last one. Hips go back up to the ceiling, stretch through your arms. And melt down, extend your legs out long. Lift your arms up to the ceiling and then flex over. Stretch your body for a minute. Ooh, three, two, one. Okay, my favorite. This is also a great place to use weights. Open your arms out to a T. You gotta promise to keep them there. Can you twist? Look at your right arm. Lift your spine. Center other side. Twist, lift and look. Pull the arms apart. Toes back. Center, one more time here. Do not let your arms drop down. Use your legs. One more. Pull these arms apart. Back to center, arms go up. Let's go, now twist. Lift through the fingertips. Go again, up around. Again, up around. Keep lifting your chest, spine up taller. Squeeze your butt. It should feel like you're on the reformer. Whew. One more time here, keep those arms lifted. Slowly to the center, lower the arms all the way down. Beautiful. Okie dokie, roll over onto your belly. Hands go underneath your shoulders. We're gonna do just like a few squan stretches. Stretch your arms, stretch your back. And lower. Go again, squeeze the seat. Push, grow. And down. Woohoo! last one. Lower all the way down. Extend your arms out. Here's my favorite. We start to swim. Go up, down. Notice I'm not going too fast. My shoulders and hips are not wiggling. 10 more. Four, three, two, one, lower. Woo. We've got one more set of those. Let's see if now we can go a little quicker and smaller. Here it is. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, sit your hips back, child's pose. My body is pooping out on me. Now, it would not be a Pilates workout if we didn't finish with our Pilates push-ups. So walking the knees back, open them slightly, shift your hips forward. My arms are pretty tight underneath my shoulders. Just like a chaturanga in yoga, can you lower to the mat slow? and then push back up, push. One more time there, lower, and push. Now here, tuck the toes, give me a full plank. Let's only go halfway, lower. Now continue the rest of the way, all the way down. Now let's push up together, I know you can do it. It's okay if it's not perfect. Push, lift, go again, lower half, all the way down. Take a big deep breath, tell yourself, I can. <laughs> Go, ooh, two more. Slow. <sighs> big push, ooh, horrible. <laughs> Last one. Here we go, big push up, ooh. Hips go high, look at the toes. Give me some little prances here. Your arms, your lats should be on fire. Spread the toes and pull the abs in for four, for three, for two, and one. Lower these down. And you guys are finished. Great work, really sculpting long, long muscles that we're trying to build in your arms. Um, and I really want you guys to feel Pilates, right? We can do a bunch of arm stuff that just has nothing to do with Pilates, but I hope that this kind of like centered you and brought you back into your body. I know I really needed it, so I'm just really happy to be sharing this mat and this time with y'all. Okay, I'm gonna come off my soapbox now. <laughs> but hopefully I see you soon on the mat and holler at me, Instagram, TikTok, I wanna talk to you. Okay, bye besties.